Now, Denmark says its troops deployed on peacekeeping operations in Mali are in the country with a clear mandate. The Danish foreign minister says there is currently a diplomatic discussion with the transitional government there on the situation. This follows the military junta, which has been ruling the country since August 2020, calling for the Danish troops to leave. France and other European allies have urged the junta to allow the forces to remain. Our correspondent Tessa Makende brings us more on the situation in Mali. About 100 Danish troops arrived in Mali last month, according to them, on the invitation of the country's leadership. They are part of an international contingent fighting an insurgency that are spread in the West African country and other parts of the Sahel region. But the Malian government, led by Asimi Goita in a statement, said it was yet to give approval for their deployment and asked them to leave. The junta seized the reins of power in a coup from ex-president Ibrahim Boubouka Keita, who was elected in 2018. President Keita earlier in 2019 had signed an agreement to allow troops to come and intercede in the situation. But with the coming of uh, Goita, he um, saw it as a threat to allow the Danes to come into Mali, even uh, as they are coming in to serve as uh, mediators to the crisis which has already struck Mali. The rejection of the troops marks a further deterioration in Mali's relationship with the European Union and other regional blocs. The French government has been supporting troops from Mali to fight insurgents in the Sahel region. In June last year, the economic community of West African states suspended Mali from their regional bloc after two coups in nine months and called for a return to democracy. The regional body has imposed new sanctions against the junta after it said elections that had been promised for this month will be pushed back until 2024. Member countries of ECOWAS have temporarily closed their borders with Mali and halted financial transactions with the country, leading to hardship for many citizens. Tassim Akendi, CGTN JOS, Nigeria.